What is up, everybody? This is your guy, Cly, and welcome back to Budget Tubing. And today, I'm going to be talking about the Electronic Necessities LED web camera from Five Below. This is a small $10 USB webcam that, in my opinion, is the best webcam Five Below has carried so far. Okay, Technically, that's not true. The actual best webcam Five Below has carried so far would have to be this Magnavox 1080p Mini Action Dash camera. Because while it's not listed anywhere on the box or in the manual, it does have a secret webcam mode that I discovered while just messing around with this thing. Though the webcam mode is 720p instead of 1080p, it's still 16x9 high definition with night vision functionality. So while this isn't the best webcam by Below's carried, it is the best webcam that they've carried that is actually marketed as a webcam. Now, I know calling this the best webcam Five Below's carried so far might be a sizable claim, but fortunately, I actually happen to have the previous webcam Five Below carried. Of course, it disappeared from the stores in my area about a week after I bought it, and because of that, I never got around to reviewing it, but who knows, it might still be floating around in other areas. It also just so happens to have a lot of the same features I've seen in at least two other webcams Five Below has carried. Also, according to my research, this Extreme Tech camera was actually originally being sold for $20 prior to it hitting Five Below's shelves. And you can still occasionally find it online for the same price. And luckily, it's also a pretty typical example of what you're going to be finding in the $10 price point when it comes to a lot of the webcams online. Though, not all. Here we have both of the cameras out of their box, and if you couldn't tell them apart, the older webcam is on the right and the newer webcam is on the left. And before I go into the differences between these two, I do want to talk about the one main thing that these have in common. And that's unfortunately the recording resolution, because both of these cameras are 640x480, aka 480p or standard definition. Though these days that 4x3 ratio is anything but standard. Just saying. Now, as for the differences, first off, the newer camera, as it says on the box, has a ring of LEDs right around here behind this diffuser. The previous webcam does not. Though coincidentally, the webcam 5 Below had before this one did have LEDs. Though it only had six and they were not behind a diffuser. The next difference is how these webcams are focused. The Extreme Tech model is manually focused, which you do by turning the lens here, whereas the Electronic Necessities webcam is actually what's called fixed focus, which pretty much just means anything past a certain distance is going to be in focus. And to be perfectly honest, I much prefer fixed focus webcams as opposed to autofocus webcams, at least when it comes to the lower cost models, because even some of the $40 autofocus webcams I played around with don't really do a good job of it. And sometimes it can just go out of whack. A lot of people talk about how they don't do a good job focusing at all, and sometimes the autofocus just kind of dies and it's going to constantly be trying to focus, but never locking on. And that's not something you want. In that case, I would much rather have fixed focus. Next up, the microphone, or more specifically, how the microphone connects to your computer. Because on the Extreme Tech model, it uses a 3.5 millimeter microphone connector. And while that might seem like it won't cause that many issues, the comments on my review of the Pulse desktop microphone from Five Below prove otherwise. Now, while this might work perfectly fine on a computer that has a dedicated microphone port alongside a headphone port, if you're using a computer that has combined both of those into one, you are going to need a combo audio adapter in order to split that port. And apparently this is a thing that not that many people know exist. Fortunately, the Electronic Necessities webcam has everything combined into the USB connection. So it really is just plug and play. Last but certainly not least is the clip that holds the webcam to your monitor. Over on the Extreme Tech side, we have a standard spring clip, which is actually pretty sizable and will fit on many modern monitors and even some that by today's standards are a little out of date. Goodness knows I've got quite a few of those. On the Electronic Necessities webcam, 
it's gone with something a little bit nicer, and that's one of these fold out brackets. And it not only holds on to much wider monitors, it also has a quarter inch tripod mount, which means you can not only use it with the pistol grip tripod that you can find at five below, side note, I absolutely love this thing, but you can also use them with any of the ring lights available at five below, thanks to these cold shoe adapters that are also threaded at one quarter inch, so you can set things up like this and get a little extra light in your shot. Side note, I do suggest mounting it so that it looks like the webcam is facing backwards so that you can better angle the ring light and then make up for it by adjusting the webcam. Now, for those of you that wanted to see the LEDs in action, I've gone ahead and hooked the webcam up to a USB power supply. I've got the control right here. And as you can see, the LEDs are not super bright, but they are bright enough to light up a shot without blinding you. Also, it looks like there might be somewhere between 12 and 16 LEDs and yeah, having it with all of my studio lighting on is not doing the best effect, so let me turn that off really quick. There we go. It's actually not half bad. Now, let's do a full demo. All right, I'm going to be recording this part with the webcam's microphone, and as you can probably tell, it is extremely sensitive. Also, that background noise you hear is my laptop's fan, which is surprising because it's actually very quiet. But I guess it's a good thing that this microphone is sensitive since that allows you to sit pretty far away from it while still getting picked up. And that helps make up for the fact that it has a four foot cable, which I forgot to mention previously. I'm only going to be demonstrating the Electronic Necessities webcam due to the fact that they're both the same resolution and only the Electronic Necessities webcam is fixed focus. Of course, I'm not appearing on camera, instead I have a selection of props here, and this shot is lit purely by the light I have in the corner of my room. And because of that, it's pretty dark, but if I point the camera at my board game shelf, the camera does automatically compensate for the difference in brightness. This shot is lit purely by the LEDs built into the webcam, which while not super strong, they do throw a decent amount of light to make out the fact that there are shelves in the distance. This shot is lit purely by the $5 LED ring light that I showed you a moment ago, and it throws significantly more light than the webcam. And here are both lights together, and it really surprised me with how much of a difference those little LEDs made. Also, those of you wondering about the image quality of these clips, Keep in mind that I'm upscaling a 480p image all the way up to 1080p for this video. And that's not typically how something like this is going to be used. Instead, the most common use for a webcam like this in content creation is going to be for face cams during live streams or gaming videos. And in those instances, the webcam feed is going to be tucked into one of the corners and look something like this. And there you have the two most recent dedicated webcams from Five Below. And in my personal opinion, the Electronic Necessities webcam blows the Extreme Tech webcam out of the water. It really does just about everything right. My only real complaint is the fact that it is a 640x480 webcam. Though, like I said at the start of this video, that's pretty much all you can expect when it comes to webcams in this price range, and sometimes even up to 20 bucks. Yes, technically you can find 1080p webcams in the $10 range on Amazon, some of which even include the same style of LED lights as the Electronic Necessities webcam. However, they're either going to sell out and never be restocked, or that pricing is only temporary, and it'll end up shooting up to around $40 by the time you decide to pull the trigger. Also, as I demonstrated a moment ago, you don't even really need a high definition webcam if your main goal is to use it as a face cam during streaming or during gameplay videos. Of course, if you're going to be using it as the main camera for your channel, you will definitely want to go for something high definition. Also, if you do plan on using this webcam for streaming or gameplay videos, do not use it as your main microphone. While it's not terrible, it is not that great, especially since you're probably going to have this webcam a bit away from you and you don't want to be yelling across the room. That doesn't give you the greatest audio. Fortunately, Five Below does have several other microphones to keep in mind, most of which I've reviewed already and put in my Five Below gaming and budget tubing playlists. And of course, there's the new clip-on microphone that I'll be reviewing in the not-too-distant future. So just keep that in mind. All of those will have you covered. 
with the exception of the Buga USB LED gaming microphone. Stay as far away from that abomination as possible. Now, back on topic, if you had to choose between one of these two webcams, I would definitely suggest going with the Electronic Necessities webcam, especially since I do think it is worth the $10 price tag. Not so much for the extreme tech model. And I think I've rambled enough, so until next time, this is your guy, Cly, signing off.